What's up everyone, Andrew Bainey here, and this video is a very quick demo of the brand new plugin from Bogren Digital, the MLC S underscore 0100. Now, as you may recall, a few months back, Bogren Digital released a more full suite version of a similar plugin, which is based off of the MLC Sub-Zero 100 amplifier. And what they've essentially done with this version of the plugin is simplified it a lot so that it only has one knob and one switch. And trust me, when I say simple, I do not mean that in a bad way. Bogren Digital has made a few of these one knob style plugins at this point in time and they pretty much hit it out of the park every single time. These plugins are perfect for people that don't want to be digging through presets or a bunch of different menus and they just want one knob, one option and know that it's going to sound good pretty much right away. So what you heard in the intro there was a full mix demo using this plugin for all the rhythm guitar tones as well as for that lead tone with additionally a little bit of help from some extra reverb and delay which is not included in this plugin but nonetheless the basis of that guitar sound was using this plugin. So let's take a look at the interface of the plugin itself. It's very simple, so this won't take any time at all. So on the left side of the plugin, as you can see here, we have a big power switch, which I gotta say, props to Bogren Digital for adding this animation here, where you can actually see the LED slowly turn on, and then the grill of the amp illuminate over time, looking like it is a real amp. It's an extra feature that doesn't necessarily do anything, but I thought it was really cool, and it looks nice and fancy. Beside that, we have one more switch, which turns a pedal on or off. This is essentially an overdrive pedal at the beginning of the amp for the purposes of what I was doing. This pedal was on the entire time, but if you want, you can turn that off using that switch as well. And then last but not least, on the right, we have a big old gain knob right here. And the cool thing about this plugin is it actually has all three channels from the original MLC Sub-Zero amp in this one knob. So you'll notice that this LED down here changes from green to yellow to red. And what this actually means is depending how you dial this gain knob, it's actually switching between the three available channels of the original amp. For the purposes of what I was doing, I of course had it pretty dimed out around like the eight or so region. But if you want something more crunchy, you can get down to that yellow channel. Or if you want something a lot cleaner, you can go down to the green channel. There's a couple more things included in this plugin, which we'll talk about now. So of course we have the input and output gain on the bottom here. We have a tuner over here nice and simple. You can of course switch between 440 hertz or whatever you want and mute the tuner so you don't have to hear yourself tuning. Always a nice touch. And then down on the right corner, we have this IRDX cab section. So this plugin includes two different cabs. One is a modern cab, a vintage cab, and then you of course also have the option to have no cab or load your own impulse response. Last but not least, we have the settings button over here where you can change the input mode and choose whether you wanna show the number of values or not. So you know when you uh, change the dial, it has that number appearing over top of the gain logo. It also, of course, has a noise gate, which is important for any modern metal tone. You can have it on, off, and set the threshold. And then last but not least, a couple other buttons that just show you information about the plugin, which we don't need to get to in this video. So like I said, a very simple plugin, but again, simplicity is not a bad thing. I personally really like this. There are plenty of times where I just want to plug in my guitar or record something and not think about all these bells and whistles and features. So plugins like this, in my opinion, are awesome. And this one is, of course, no exception exception to that. Another benefit of this plugin being a little bit less full featured is of course the price. This plugin is coming in at only $50 USD and you can also get a free trial linked in the description or the pinned comment below. In addition to this plugin, there's also of course a standalone version which you can open up on your computer. So if you're not looking to open it within a digital audio workstation, it also has its own executable version of the program that works just the same as this, but also includes a riff recorder built into it. So that pretty much covers all the specs and features of this plugin. Really quickly, I'm going to play through a portion of that demo song that I showed you at the beginning of this video and just play around with, well, normally I would say the dials, but really there's only one. So we're going to turn the pedal off and on and go through the gain settings as well, just so you can hear how it sounds. There's no post-processing or any additional things going on here. It is just one instance of the plugin on one DI guitar track. So we're going to start with turning it completely off and going from there. Sounds like this. So as you can hear, when you get down to that yellow channel, obviously it's more of a crunchy sound. Let's take it even lower over to the green channel and turn the pedal off.
Okay, and that's a little taste of some of the different sounds that you can get with this plugin. This might not be the best example for a more clean or crunch version of the flavor of tone that you're getting, obviously because I recorded this guitar with heavy rhythm in mind, but nonetheless, you understand the point of the gain dial as well as the pedal function of this plugin. And that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Again, I wanna give a big thank you to Bogren Digital for sponsoring this video. And again, if you're interested in buying this plugin or trying it out yourself for free, the link to that is gonna be in the description and the pinned comment below. Of course, last but not least, a massive thank you to all my Patreon members whose names are on the screen at this point in time. If you're interested in audio downloads, guitar tabs, stems, or a shout out on the screen like these lovely people here, you can find all that over on my Patreon page. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. I look forward to your comments and I'll see you next time.